Hey everybody, it is finally January 30th, which means release day is here for 2019 Tops. This just came out a few hours ago, and I picked up a jumbo case and also a hobby case, and I'll be breaking all of these tonight in a live stream on my channel around 7 p.m., but today, and for this video, we're going to open this extra box that I picked up for myself, go through all the packs, take a look at the designs, uh, spend time looking at the back and everything, and see what we pull. All right, so here we go. Top Series 1 Baseball 2019. This is a hobby box that I picked up at Steel City Collectibles in White Oak, Pennsylvania. It was $58.75, I do believe, after tax, a little over 60 bucks can take a look at the design here one change from last year's instead of having 36 packs at 10 cards per pack tops is giving us 24 packs so less packs but more cards per pack with 14 cards per pack all that works out to just slightly less cards per box it's not that much of a difference uh, the only difference is you will be paying a little bit more per hobby pack and set obviously since there's 24 instead of 36 so without further ado let's get this box opened and start ripping these packs and check out the design i tried to mostly avoid this year's design and, and not look at it too much but i did catch some glimpse here and there on social media so um i wanted to be surprised but i'm not going to be super surprised but maybe some of you if this is your first time seeing this product open will be surprised. There is one autograph or relic card in every one of these hobby boxes. So hopefully we pull something good. Uh, let's just get right to it here. Uh, also, it's the 150th anniversary of professional baseball and Topps Home Run Challenge is back where you can predict a home run hit by a player and win a special card. Before I start tearing into these and forget, here are all of the odds. If you want to pause that just to double check um, what odds are of various um, inserts and stuff are, they're right there. So let's go. First pack. Then the first card for me out of 2019 tops is a Taiwan Walker. Check out the design. It has the nice little border here. Uh, kind of reminds me of 1982 tops. Something that's a little bit different is the last name is on top, kind of backwards there. It has a nice uh, logo down there. So overall, not too. Oh, yes. The number one card in the set. Right off the bat, Ronald Acuna Jr. I did see this card uh, all over Twitter. It was like Topps was really promoting this heavily. I guess this card won uh, a fan vote for the number one overall card in the set. So this is card number one out of 350. Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold Cup card. Very nice. Let's check out the back of this bad boy and check out the designs. There is the back. You can see it is number one in the set, and there are all the stats. It's always nice to see 2018 on the uh, player record there, so you can look how players did recently. Uh, very, very nice. Awesome. Check that out. Also has their social media, um, Instagram and Twitter, if you'd like to follow Ronald Acuna Jr., very awesome. Ben Zobrist. And then we have Renato Lopez, Brandon Lowe, Houston Astros, Minute Maid Park. That's a nice design. Uh, not nice design, but nice picture there. And then we have a pirate next. That's going to be Jay Hay. Josh Harrison, who is still a free agent as of the recording of this video. Home Run Challenge, Trevor Story. I mentioned that. All I have to do is go to tops.com promotion, scratch that off, and put in the uh, numbers there. And just pick a game when I think that Trevor will hit a home run. And I think I win a card if I do. Um, if not, I would still be interested in going to that 2020 Home Run Derby, which would be pretty nice. J.D. Martinez, World Series card, World Series Highlights card. Uh, World Series Highlights are not in the 2018 Topps Update set because it was released, I think, October 16th or thereabouts. Whit Merrifield, who just signed a nice four-year, $16 million extension for the Royals. And here's a nice one, Derek Rodriguez. Future Stars, our first Future Star card, that is Yvonne Rodriguez. Pudge Rodriguez, the Hall of Fame catcher, that is his son. If you didn't know, Derek Rodriguez and Matt Olson. So first pack out of 24, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that pack. Getting the Ronald Acuna Jr. Gold Cup card is the second card 
ever out of 2019 tops. All right, now we have Raphael Devers. Uh, then we have Dylan Bundy. And now I see a 1984 design coming up. Archie Bradley with that nice beard going on. Jose Abreu. Uh, now we have Nettie Rosario. There's a rainbow card of George Springer. These are usually not numbered, but they are still pretty cool to get. And our nice 1984 design. You might remember last year was 1983. This year, they're just pushing it up one year. Luis Urias, rookie card from the Padres, 1984 design, celebrating 35 years of Topps baseball. you got to think that maybe next year they'll be doing the 1985 design. 84 was a nice set. The best card in the real 84 set is the Don Magley rookie card. That book's at about 20 to 25 bucks. Uh, you can maybe find it a little bit less on eBay. Let's see who else we have. Glaber Torres Gold Cup cards. So we got two of the best rookies, and they have gold cups on them. Gold Cup, if you don't know, goes to the best rookie at each position. Ian Kennedy, uh, Shin Su Chu, Nico Goodrum, and Matt Duffy is our second pack. 14 cards per pack brings me back to the old days. So that's how many cards were in packs roughly back when I was growing up. Usually most cards had... 15 cards for pack. Scooter Jeanette and Cody Allen. Allen is a new member of the Angels. And then we have a Sean Reed Foley rookie card there. Still, they put the nice rookie card logos on there. Oakland Athletics, the Coliseum. Trevor Bauer, 1984 Topps design. And then we have a Topps Now promotional card there. Bryce Harper, who still hasn't signed, but it seems more and more likely that he's going to go to the Phillies, if you believe the rumors. Jed Jerko, Miggy, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera, the number two, actually, I guess if you count Ichiro, he'd be number three active hit leaders. Ichiro is number one. He's technically active, at least for the first season or the first uh, series of the season. Then it's Albert Pujols, number two, and Miguel Cabrera is number three. Three in all-time active hits. Uh, 2676 he has. I like at the beginning of the season you can check out their stats uh, up to the minute. So these are his stats right now. Really rough last two years in terms of war for Miggy. Negative 0.2 and 0 0.7 last year. Hopefully he can rebound a little bit. Uh, I do like Miggy a lot. Miles Michaelis had a great season last year as did Severino, Todd Frazier, Joey Ricard, and Addison Reed. That picture is taken at PNC Park. I wonder if I'm out there. Probably not, but it's always uh, cool when you see a stadium that's recognizable in the background. All right, our next pack. Pack number four. Still looking for our autograph, but that'll come. Daniel Ponce de Leon. I remember, I think this is a great American ballpark. I think he came up and pitched an absolute gem and got sent down the next day, if I'm not mistaken. Christian Yelich, your National League most valuable player right there. Check that card out. That is a sweet looking card. Um, I like these designs. I feel like I would want to get some of these autographed. They look kind of so nice. Francisco Cervelli. Oh, there we go. It's a Clayton Kershaw. Our hit is a good one. A Clayton Kershaw 1984 relic patch. How about that? Future Hall of Famer Clayton Kershaw. One of the best players in the game. I was not expecting that. Um, I would not have been surprised if I would have got like a Miles Michaelis autograph or relic or something to that extent. But this is pretty good. Top stepping up on the first box of the year. I got my Acuna and now I got a Clayton Kershaw game used memorabilia patch. Check it out. Congratulations. You have received a 1984 baseball relic card from 2019 Tops Series 1. And it's a Clayton Kershaw. That is a good one. It is not numbered or anything like that, but that is pretty sick. Usually what I've found is, from opening cases and cases of these, usually you do get more relics per case than autographs from Topps. Um, the Jumbo, if you really like your hits, Jumbo is where it's at. Jumbo, you get an autograph, a guaranteed autograph per box. You also get a relic and 
typically a manufactured patch in Jumbo, and I'll be breaking those also today. If you're watching this after Wednesday, January 30th, you can go back and find that on my channel. And by the way, I hope you subscribe if you haven't already hit that button. We are closing in on 19,000 subscribers. There's Ozzy Smith, 1984 tops. That is pretty cool. Uh, David Price, Danny Duffy, Kyle Bearclaw, Edwin Diaz, who's now on the Mets. He's going to be the Mets closer. Oda Rizzi and Future Star kind of switched it up a little bit with that Future Star design. Pretty nice. It's in the background. Jack Flaherty. Oh, wow, that is awesome. Clayton Kershaw. Hopefully tonight in the break we do get some big hits. Possibly bigger than that Kershaw one. We shall see. There was a good hit right there. Mike Trout. Mike Trout making a home run saving catch. I like the photography in this release. There's been a lot of cool pictures. Mike Trout jumping up there and making the grab. Um, I'm guessing, this is just a quick guess, I'm guessing that is at Progressive Field, out in center field, and those are the trees which I snag so many baseballs out of when I go for batting practice. Um, very awesome. Mike Trout, best player in the game. Jason Kipnis keeps us on the Indians conversation there for one more second. Marcus Stroman. And then we have oh, Citizens Bank Park. That is a nice picture. The skyline of Philadelphia back there. Very, very nice picture of CBP. Todd Helton, who was on the Hall of Fame ballot for the first time this year and garnered enough support to appear again next year. His greatest season um, kind of commemorates that year whenever he had a gigantic year and hit 372. Pretty nice. Max Scherzer, Will Smith, Gene Segura who is now on the Phillies. Jorge Polanco, Kyle Seeger, Chris Davis. Hits 247 every year. If you don't believe me, check out those batting averages. 47, 47, 47, 47. Career, 248. And Nick Pavetta. Really enjoying this release of Tops 2019. Um, and I went around to lots of different stores looking for these, but nobody had them out, and I finally said, you know what? You just got to hit up your local card shop, and they are the ones that had it. Steel City Collectibles in White Oak, and that's also where I got my cases, which I will be breaking tonight. Charlie Morton, member of the Rays now. Nolan Arnado, who's going to be a free agent after this year. Hank Aaron, 715 commemoration. There's a Matt Carpenter, and that is our first, um, I guess this is going to be our first numbered card out of this box. It is a USA... Um, kind of Independence Day one. Usually these are out of 76, and there it is. 63 of 76. Very, very nice. Matt Carpenter had a great year last year. Kirby Yates. And then we have Brad Peacock, Orlando Arcia, Sonny Gray, newest member of the Reds, and Jose Urania. Don't get him and uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. in the same room together. Might not end well. As you remember, Urania threw at Acuna after Acuna was on a big hot streak last year. Tanner Roark, also a member of the Reds now. The Reds revamped their rotation. Nick Markakis, who signed back on a bargain basement deal with the Braves. I think it was, what, $6 million or something like that? Uh, you can see he plays every game. Nick Markakis, by the way, is number five on the active hits leaderboard. Had a nice season last year, 2.6 war, although the second half was not that good for him. Paul Goldschmidt now on the Cardinals. Albert Almora, Carlos Correa had a bit of a down year last year. Always like to look at the stats. You can see a 1.6. Hopefully he rebounds this year and hits better than 239. Xander Bogarts, here's another 84 card. Chance Adams rookie card for you Yankees fans out there. What else do we have? Tommy Pham, one of my personal favorites. Uh, Mitch Hanniger, Aaron Hicks, Brandon Nimmo, and Paul DeYoung rounds out that pack. So it looks like we are getting down about halfway through there or so. Already got our hit out of the way early, the Clayton Kershaw. So now we're just... All right, sorry there, everybody. I just got a phone call that interrupted my filming, and I've got some great news. My endocrinologist called with my full body scan results. My cancer has not spread, and I'm good to start my radioactive treatment on Monday next week and then hopefully that's the end of this should take care of everything this is just the best day that i've had in the last a long time um uh, wow this is awesome news uh for those of you that are just watching me for the first time i was diagnosed with thyroid cancer 
uh, back in November and had my thyroid removed in December. I cannot wait to tell all my family members the news. I, just, I have to finish this box up because I'm going to be making lots of phone calls here. So Michael Kopech, rookie card. That's a good one. He is going to be hurt for much of this year from Tommy John. But you can see this is numbered out of 2019 there at the top. 1593. That's awesome. Um, Chris Davis again. Then we have Chris Iannetta, Ryan Zimmerman, Justin Verlander, who is going to be a Hall of Famer. I like how Tops puts their entire record on there for the older guys. You can see every single year that they've pitched. Love Tops. Tops, by and large, actually, far and away, is the best um, and my favorite card to purchase. When I was growing up as a little kid, uh, if you take a look at a cross-section of all the cards that I've owned uh, growing up through the years, this was always the company that I always went to. Love Tops. And the more I look at these cards, the more I'm going to associate these with great news. Joey Votto, another future Hall of Famer. Just I love looking at the stats on the back. Look at all those times he led the league in walks. Uh, MVP, um, former MVP there, Brian McCann, Manny Margot, another gold card, and it's a rookie card there, and it's numbered out of uh, 2019, 53, Matt Carpenter, regular card, Jordan Zimmerman, Adam Ottavino, Yasiel Puig, also a member of the Reds. Reds are gearing up, everybody. Uh, we'll have to see how the Reds do this year. I think they're going to be around a 500 team. That National League Central is going to be a killer of a division. Unfortunately, my favorite team, the Pirates, are in that division. People sometimes have a connotation that the Pirates stink, but remember, the Pirates had a winning record last year, so we'll have to see if they can improve upon that. I hope they can. Edwin Encarnacion, he's no longer on the Indians. He's on the Mariners now. Russell Martin, who's on the Dodgers. A lot of these guys have changed teams. There's another gold card, Blake Parker. Very nice. Numbered out of 2019, 1958. Nolan Arnauto right there. Josh Hader. Uh, Josh Hader, absolute lights out pitcher. Look at his stats. His, uh, they don't have his, his, his I get, wow. This is an error card. Uh, I spotted an error right here. Do you see the error? His whip in 2018. 0, 0.00 that's wrong if that was right that would mean he gave up zero walks and zero hits which is wrong so spotted an error card already david Bodie had a great uh opening to his season there uh real memorable home run in 2018 derek dietrich is a free agent and wade davis all right so we have about three about 10 packs left here 2019 tops opening day i always love opening day for baseball i love opening day for anything it's a good day jeff mcneil rookie card chance adams rookie card love getting rookies there's a nice picture of a oldest chapman there pitching in i guess that would be rain maybe snow uh now we have a jorge soler robbie ray gold card numbered 1279 bring it in Jose Barrios, I really like Jose Barrios also. Guy is super generous. Miguel Andujar, very nice. Another one of those rookies. I collected a bunch of rookies uh, in 2018. Andujar was one of them, along with Otani and Acuna and Reese Hoskins and all those rookie cards. Glaber Torrey, so it's nice to see all these guys with gold cups on there right now. That's a pretty sweet picture of him too, by the way. Chad Green, Lorenzo Kane had a great season. Mike Zunino, next pack. Not too many Pirates that I've seen so far out of here, though, but it's, it doesn't matter. I have so many Pirates cards. Uh, Jordan Hicks throws like 100-plus pretty easily. There's Miller Park, uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Eduardo Nunez, nice. 1986 tops traded. Jose Canseco, this is going to be an iconic card. So it looks like they have an iconic card reprint um, selection in these, which is going to be fun. Can't wait to see what they've included as we tear through all these boxes tonight. Uh, 86 top straight. That card books for about four bucks or so. Uh, there's another Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer, Yachty Molina, Corey Seeger, and Tiosco Hernandez. All right, on to our next pack. I decided to go for the entire hobby box this year instead of just doing a blaster box. Figure you guys would like it a little bit more. Also, spend a little more time rather than flying through them. Kyle Tucker, rookie card. That has a chance to be somewhat valuable. He is a highly regarded prospect for the Astros. And then we have a Ioannis Cespedes, who struggled with injuries last year. 
Jonathan Scope had an awful, awful, awful time with the Brewers. Zero, negative 0 0.3 after being traded every at 202. Really just a mess uh, with the Brew Crew last year. But, I mean, he has had lots of success in the past, so we'll have to see if he rebounds. All right, our next pack. I see a Carlos Martinez on the back. back. Jesse Winker's right there. Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. So, Topps kind of loaded this up. Uh, series one with some of the biggest stars. You got Acuna in there. You got Torres in there. You got Judge and Trout in there. Very nice checklist that they've put in here so far. Freddie Freeman's no slouch either. Awesome player right there. There's Big Red, Justin Turner, James Paxton, Salvador Perez, Blake Snell, your Cy Young Award winner, future star, Lourdes Goriel Jr., Marcus Simeon. There is our pirate, Trevor Williams, who had a great season last year. And Brandon Belt and Carlos Martinez. Okay. On to the, hey, Shohei Otani, they put everybody in here. Who's going to be left to put in Series 2? I guess some of the uh, breakout stars and rookies. Wow, we got everybody. Shohei Otani Gold Cup card. Very, very nice. Like that. Uh, I like that they chose a picture of him hitting since last year. They showed him... Um, I guess they showed him pitching and hitting in some of the cards, depending on what it was. That's pretty cool. Also, they have his stats on the back for just hitting. So I wonder if they did a pitching variation also, which would be pretty cool and a good idea for them. Um, the more Otani cards that they can provide, um, the less the value, I would imagine, but the better for the young collector. Mookie Betts. This is a nice card. I saw this promoted on social media also that's a nice looking card Mookie Betts one of the best players in the game by far Logan Morrison I had a really bad year last year but he signed late during spring training and everyone that signed late during spring training by and large had a really down year last year Jose Martinez all bat no glove Didi Gregorius who's injured gonna be out until July or August with um had Tommy John surgery Troy Chilowitzki though is gonna hold down the fort for all you Yankees fans while Didi gets better Next pack, Rick Porcello, Steven Souza Jr. Man, the uh, it's got to be taught to be a Diamondbacks fan, seeing uh, uh, Pollock walk out the door along with uh, Patrick Corbin and Paul Goldschmidt. That's got to be tough. We'll have to see how they do. We have a Topps Greatness Returns featuring Nolan Ryan and Justin Verlander. That's a pretty cool card. Looks like it's an in uh, insert card, numbered one. Jacob deGrom, your Cy Young winner from the National League. Michael Taylor, Mike Miner, Alex Gordon, uh, Martin Perez, and Matthew Boyd. Looks like we have three, four, five, six, seven packs left to go out of these 24. I would highly suggest you pick up a box of these for yourself, um, depending on your budget. Hobby um, boxes, like I said, are $58. If you wait a little while, they probably will drop how about this? Juan Soto. Tops loading up Series 1. Juan Soto Gold Cup card. Another one of those rookie cards that I collected last year. Very nice. Juan Soto, a finalist for the NL MVP. Had a great season, Harrison Bader. Tops, great job with this release. I am really digging the photos. And the design is great. Like, when I first saw it, I thought, eh, I don't know about that design. But I'm liking it now. The more I look at it, the more I just want to, I almost want to send these cards away to get autographed. Um, they're pretty awesome. All right, our next pack, we have a Nick Birdie. He was, uh, I believe he was a Rule 5 pickup from the Pirates. Um, you can see, usually tells you right there, or trade there. Interesting. Uh, Luis Castillo from the Reds. Who else do we have here? Mike Trout, another Mike Trout. This one might be a short print. I know that Topps uh, was putting pictures in there um, of various stars, like dressed up really nice, and I believe this is a short print. Mike Trout rocking the uh, mohawk slash nice uh, suit at the All-Star Game red carpet show. That's a nice one. This has been a great, great box. You'll have to let me know what you thought of this box in the comments. Also, let me know what you think of this release, the design and everything. Um, super pumped for what Topps has in store for us this year across all of their releases. And I'll be opening pretty much everything I can get my hands on for you guys. Steve Pierce, former Pirate and 
MVP of the World Series. I've noticed that some of these have 150-year um, insignia on it. They're a logo. I wonder if those are supposed to be like that. Number 344, Max Scherzer. Some have it, some don't. I'm going to have to go back and uh, double-check if that means anything or if it makes it a little more valuable or if that's just on every Max Scherzer card. I'm sure I'll start to notice trends when I go through roughly, I don't even know, five to 7,000 cards tonight in the live stream. Trey Turner with the jump throw. Adam Jones is a free agent. Um, David Price. There is a Mookie Betts 1984 tops. Very, very awesome Mookie Betts. Like that card a lot. By the way, don't close the video yet. I have a silver pack to open also. Clayton Richard. Gregory Polanco, and right in front of the Clemente wall out there, Josh Donaldson in, in an Indians uniform. That's not really a sight that we've seen too often. He got traded right at the uh, August 31st deadline there. Played just a little bit with the Indians. And uh, probably the only time we'll see him in an Indians uniform. It, heck, Tops might put him back in Series 2 in a Braves uniform as he signed a one-year $23 million deal. Jose Ramirez is a nice one out of there. Safeco Field, love that field a lot. Been there a few times. Never been here this stadium, though. Still need to get down to SunTrust Park probably this summer. I think I'm going to go there. It would be nice. Javier Baez. JT Realmuto has been in some trade rumors lately linked to the Reds. Buster Posey and Robinson Cano, who's now on the Mets. So we only have two packs left, and then we'll do our silver pack, and then we'll get everybody out of here. And I hope I can see everybody tonight in the live stream, can uh, watch and chat with everybody. There's a live chat where people discuss all things sports and sports cards, and it's a pretty fun time. Robin Yount, 1984 tops, very nice. There's a Sweet Life, Max Muncy, and uh, Cody Bellinger living it up at the plate. Brandon Crawford, who is Garrett Cole's brother-in-law. There's a Jose Altuve. Had surgery the day after the Astros season ended. Aaron Nola, a finalist there for the Cy Young. And that takes us to our final standard pack from Tops. Very, very nice release. So many good cards out of this box. Start off here with a Brad Keller rookie card. And then there's Justin Upton. There's PNC Park. That's my home stadium. Very nice. It picked a nice cloudy, overcast day. At least the uh, stadium is somewhat full. If they would have taken that picture on a weeknight. It would have been pretty empty as the Pirates suffered with attendance a bit last year. Taiwan Walker, gold card. This is out of uh, 2019, 211. Ballpark Evolution, Fenway Park. That is a pretty nice picture. For those of you who like history, check out what Fenway Park used to look like. You can see that's still recognizable in center field. The wall looks a lot different now. And now it has the uh, backdrop there. That is a nice card. Like that. Like that idea, Tops. A nice, uh, nice idea to bring in history. I do like um, historical cards like that every now and then. Not so much like every other card, but that is a nice little touch. And our last cards there, Shane Green, who's very friendly in the outfield during batting practice. All right, that's it for that. Now we have this silver pack. You get one of these per box if you buy them in a hobby shop, which I would definitely suggest doing. They're 1984 Topps designs, and sometimes you can pull autographs out of here. Uh, they're like refractors, and they're very, very nice. Cedric Mullins, their rookie card, is our first one. Oh, we have a nice bordered card there with gold. Reese Hoskins, that's a good one. A lot of people will sell these packs on eBay, and they're, they go for quite a sum of money sometimes. And we have a Chris Bryant gold refractor. That is a beautiful card. And is it numbered? Yes, it's numbered out of 50. Check that out. That was a awesome, awesome box. Really had fun going through all of that. Like I always do with all of my box breaks. If anybody wants to buy all these, I will throw them on um, eBay and you can have every single card that I pulled out of here as I'm going to be buying tons and tons of tops cards I'm sure I'll get most of these again probably at all of them except for maybe that one and the relic but I would be happy to sell these to uh, someone that is going to enjoy them a lot I'll put them in team bags put them back inside this box save it for you in case you want to use the box for display it just has a small little extra I tore into it um, really awesome release. Tops, great job. A plus, like the design. Really had fun opening them. I hope I see everyone in the break tonight. 
Uh, thank you all for watching. Please hit that subscribe button as we're getting close to 19,000. And I will see you all later.